With his trademark flair and wavy hair, Luca Cordero de Montezemolo was all smiles as he presented the Ferrari 458 Speciale A. But this year's Paris Auto Show was his last car show as chairman of Ferrari. His 23 years in the post come to an end October 13. Two weeks ago, Sergio Marchione, the chief executive of Ferrari parent Fiat, forced Montezemolo to resign. Montezemolo's sacking was ostensibly due to Ferrari's poor showing in Formula One racing. Just two podium finishes and no victories in 2014. What do you think it'll take Ferrari to get back on the podium in Formula One? Better drivers, better engines, better both. Ah, it is, this is a really difficult question, but I think uh, uh, the experience is uh, you have to have the best cars to, with the best driver. In that moment, probably we have the best driver, but we don't have the best car. <laughs> Last season, Ferrari won only two races despite having Fernando Alonso, considered by many to be the circuit's top driver. And the team hasn't won a driver's title since 2007. But many are unconvinced by this official explanation since the company is enjoying its best ever year financially. Montezemolo and Marchione are known to have clashed over strategy. The Ferrari chairman has been firm in limiting yearly Ferrari production at about 7,000 vehicles so as to protect the brand's exclusivity. Marchione instead has indicated he favors a gradual increase to as many as 10,000 vehicles a year. Now that Montezemolo has been sent packing, Ferrari fans will be wondering when their car will win its next Formula One race. Investors on the other hand will be keeping an eye on what Marchione plans for Ferrari. Please.